I am recording. Ba, ba, ba. I am recording. I am recording. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 609th episode of the Pokemon Podcast. It's super effective. I am your host, Steve. With me is Hannah. Hello, I am here. Uh... Yesterday, I thought I didn't get sunburnt during community day because I did put on sunscreen, and I think I think I may have gotten just a little bit sunburnt. <laughs> Wait, you play outside? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when it's nice, when it's not awful weather. Uh, Bobby is also here with us this week. Also an outside Pokemon Go player in the, the rare times that there's nice weather here in San Diego. Yeah, the, so, the rare uh-huh. times. Yeah, just a few days a year. <laughs> I played Pokemon Go at the mall. (laughs) (laughs) It was very crowded. It was actually really cold yesterday. It was like 37 and very, very, very windy. So it just like cut right through you. The classic Midwest of like, ah, it'd be really nice out if it wasn't for the wind. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, we got a show for you guys today. We have uh, just three topics. Uh, Pokemon Sleep, which uh, will probably be... There's, look, there's a lot of Pokemon Sleep because <laughs> they introduce one legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Sleep and they have to give us a six-part diagram in order <laughs> to like break this down to catch a legendary Pokemon, which I'm assuming most people won't be able to at the very end. I don't know. We'll tell you how to do it um, so you're prepared. Uh, if you're listening to this on Monday... You're still good. You got a full week, technically, before Raikou shows up. Um, we got some Pokemon Go stuff, and then we have some Pokemon TCG stuff. If Look, if Bobby's on the show, it, just know that there will be TCG stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, it's weird. I started off coming onto this show as someone who would talk more about Go, and I've somehow <laughs> transitioned to do the <laughs> person who talks about TCG. So. I think TCG is easier to take your money than Go. This makes sense for you. It, that's one thing I'm an expert in. And uh, <laughs> yeah, the TCG <laughs> wins out over Go, to be honest. Still, Pokemon <laughs> Go is really trying there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're up there. But the TCG, that's, that's a hard one to beat, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about Pokemon Sleep uh raiko is officially coming i'm not exaggerating there is like a four-part diagram and then like two other articles describing raiko uh here's here's the first bit of i guess not misinformation raiko technically doesn't come until the 25th i think people thought it was coming this week because it was like electric week just happened which was fine i guess um depending on what island you went to I don't know. Hannah, how was your electric week? I saw one Dedenne the whole time, and I used a Master Ball on it, and it's helping me out a whole bunch, but I also got an amazing Pichu that has really brought me back to the game. So I think... <laughs> that's, what, that's what you needed. You needed the Pichu. <laughs> Wait, we got back up. It has almost completely gold sub skills. I saw it when yes. I caught it. <laughs> we got to back up a second. I, as, as, as we know, I do not play Pokemon Sleep, so I do not have all of the same information that you two do. Um, why are you using a Master Ball in the Dedenne? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be clear. Bobby doesn't play Pokemon Sleep because he he did the life thing of having children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I used a Master Ball in the Dedenne because I'm not a very high level in Pokemon Sleep. Okay. And I figured... I would only get a chance to encounter it once on the one night I could use an incense that would force it to appear. So I figured it probably wouldn't come back again, and it had too many bars I had to fill up to use a weaker cookie on it. <laughs> so okay. I yeah, used a Master, it's not a master Ball. ball. It's, a, it's a cookie. <laughs> a Master Ball cookie. <laughs> okay, so this is something that you can have more of one of then? Yeah, or? so you can buy one Master Ball a month. But okay. they're four thousand points, which is a okay. lot of points for, especially for a free to play player. Got it. For okay. a premium user like myself, <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I would. I would say on average, a premium user probably gets anywhere between like seven thousand to uh, ten thousand points a month. So a master ball isn't. Uh, people argue that a master ball is a bad investment. Okay. Because there hasn't been a legendary Pokemon until now. Right. Well, that's what I was so, gonna right. say. <laughs> So like Pokemon like Dedenne or Absol or Kangaskhan, uh, I don't know why I said Kangaskhan, so funny. Um, they have a lot of bars to fill. So even if you had a premium biscuit, which is what I get, uh, that's four. And then if it's hungry, it's times three. So ultimately you get 12 <laughs> bars. Okay. But I believe Dedenne and Absol, they have 16 bars, Oh, which means even with a premium biscuit, they don't fill. So if you do math, this is really silly. That gets you to 12, and then if you do a Great Biscuits, that's 3, which gets you to 15, then you need one Pokeball, but sometimes they f- they get hungry after 2. Mm. So you could do Premium, Great Ball, and now it's hungry, and you're wa- you were like... It's full. Full, so yeah, it- it's full. Sorry. <laughs> so it won't take any more cookies. It won't take any more biscuits okay. after it's full. And then there's not Got there's it. a chance where it just doesn't come back. I see. Okay. I'm following. <laughs> so, then that... <laughs> Leads to a another question is that the Dene was caught in oh can you you can have more than one master ball or master ball cookie or whatever at a time though right yeah so yeah, like yeah. you you can buy one last month and then you can buy one this month and catch your Raiko in it potentially if you have to do that or something yes well okay. there will be Raiko biscuits oh god. <laughs> All right, all right. We can just continue on. You guys can. <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. Okay, so Electric Week is technically over, right? It was one week to get you prepared. You you can start collecting stuff for Ryko this week, which we'll get to. But Ryko will not start appearing until March 25th at 3 p.m. your time. And then you can use a Ryko incense. Raiko will only appear on green grass. Uh, it says appearing at green grass aisle. Raiko may still appear during regular sleep research, even after the Raiko research event ends, but it is extremely rare. Raiko's sleep type is snoozing. Okay, the, for, to, to explain this to Bobby, when you go to sleep, you either have snoozing, dozing, or slumbering. Okay. So if you're slumbering, which is a deep sleep, you won't have Raiko spawn at all. So they don't want you to sleep well? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. No, no, that's not how sleep works. You want okay. all three I... parts of sleep in your sleep. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the the calculation it does is it changes based on your average. So if this type of sleep is higher than your average, that's what it chooses. Okay, got it. Okay. And your average changes each night. So theoretically, that makes it more likely to get each of the three types of sleep. I think snoozing is the one that I almost never get, though. Mm. Well, that's... I think not... dozing is the one I never get. I got snoozing this morning. Which I can't remember. Is Dedenne snoozing or dozing? Because it's not slumbering. So don't I, know. I don't know. <laughs> I used uh... an incense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Raiko will have a new skill called Helper Boost. So it's the only Pokemon that should have this skill for now. Uh, and what it does is it the more different species of electric type Pokemon on your team, the greater the effect of the skill. Um, so, for example, a team with five different electric type Pokemon, Raikou, Raichu, Dedenne, Jolteon, Ampharos. Uh, but if that's five different species, but a team with four different Pokemon would be Raikou, Raichu, Raichu, Jolteon, Ampharos. So pretty much like two Raichus. Don't only one of your Raichus count. There's like a TCG thing here too. <laughs> you can only have four <laughs> cards in a deck, but you can only have one A spec card. <laughs> I, I was fully expecting Steve to say like two Raichus don't make a wrong or something or two Raichus. So. <laughs> the Pikachu's though, because I, I I think we have to do the deep dive because every time I go to the Pokemon Go Sleep subreddit, like this question is asked a million times a day. Which at a certain point that subreddit banned shiny Pokemon. They should ban. They just should just have a mega thread of like leading up to this week, frequently asked questions. Constantly, people were asking, "What about Pikachu with a hat?" They do. They're different. They are different. So you can have Pikachu, Pikachu with a witch hat, 
Pikachu with a Santa hat. Those are three different Pikachus. And then if you had a Pichu and a Pikachu, that is different as well. So there we go. <laughs> Very, I know, complicated. The special Pikachu that appears when you link your Go++ plus plus does not count towards the Raikou, which I, I feel like that's unfair. I paid 60 something dollars for that thing. He should count. He has a different hat. He has a snoozing cat. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and then finally, this is a new thing. Because Raiko is a special Pokemon, I don't. Why don't they just say legendary? Uh, you can only have one Raiko on your team. It is possible to get more than one special Pokemon, but you cannot have more than one special Pokemon on the same team. So uh, my interpretation is you can't have Raiko and Entei on your team at the same time. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't know why you would, because we're all assuming that Entei is going to have the same power as Raiko would. Which but would for fire just be types. for fire, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then for special Pokemon, the very first one you befriend will have the same nature and sub skills for all researchers. So it won't be randomized, which I think is good. Yes. We'll see. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, like in our in our Slack, there was a bunch of people that got Dedenne, or multiple Dedenne. I only got one, and it took me three encounters to get this Dedenne. Um, and mine was bad; like, I, it's unusable. When it gets to level seventy five, you get a little bit. <laughs> if I was to get it to level seventy five, it would be so much investment. Um, but I, I would imagine that it would be very, like, if you were a free-to-play player or, like, let's say six months down the line, you finally get your Raikou and it ends up just being terrible, that would be that would be a pretty big turnoff. So, like, every your very first Raikou being, like, I, I don't know if it's going to be, like, the most yeah, amazing Yeah, we don't know Raikou. what the sub-skills are going to be, but theoretically it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be, <laughs> like, fine. And, like... Are you even going to get a second chance for Raikou? Like in a year, and like, oh, I finally got a second Raikou. It's like, are, are you? Well, are you one? Are you still playing? Two? Is this game still alive? <laughs> it, can it be shiny? Do they say anything about that? Or I don't think they've said anything about it. Oh. Yeah, there it hasn't been a shiny be. lock in this game at yeah. all. Okay. Okay. Wait, are you saying the Raikou is bringing you back, Bobby? <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm I'm looking forward to the to the uh, whatever screenshots I see on Threads when Raikou comes out to see if it's shiny or not. Uh, I, That's a good question. I didn't think about that, but there there hasn't been a shiny lock in the game. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I still don't think I. Again, my sleep schedule is <laughs> awful. I, there's I don't have a reason to play this game. Like, I mean, to improve it, I guess, but. Uh, <laughs> Um, a lot of the game isn't just the sleeping. Yeah, I was going to say, how much... There's a lot of strategy. How much of the game do you play while you're awake? Like, how many hours a day mm. do you think you invest in the game when you're awake? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, Mon- Monday's an exception because Monday you're setting up for the week. So you're playing a lot more on Monday. Um, but, like, when I wake up, I'm probably spending, I would say, like, five to ten minutes in the app. Like, oh. you're... You're you're going through your like, okay, who to catch, do the catch thing, feed breakfast, collect all your berries, maybe make any changes for the day. And then I usually come back an hour or two for just to like check all the berries. And then you come back for lunch and then you come back for dinner. Yeah. So open it a few times a day. When you usually open it, it's gonna be thirty seconds to probably two minutes if you're doing a meal. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So, the way you guys talked about it, the way the way both of you talked about it made me feel like you were spending like a couple hours a day in this app. No, if you like, want to I, really I, optimize a team. <laughs> like I, I spent a, probably a solid fifteen minutes last night re going through all my EVs again because I have like seven EVs, and then being like, "Are any of these good enough for Joel?" I don't know why I just don't delete them. I don't think they're good for any Pokemon, but like I was like, "Has any of these good for Jolteon?" But also like my electric week, like I have an Ampharos. And I have a Raichu, and they're both excellent. Like, I'm very happy with them. They're super, super good. And then it's like, well, I am i don't have three more electric Pokemon. Like, I could do a Pikachu or I could do a Pichu, but they're not leveled up, and they're not preferred, because I 
evolved the good one into Raichu. And then it's like, well, I wanted Dedenne. That would have been my third. But the one Dedenne I got was bad. Um, <laughs> and then it's like, okay, well, Magna, Magnazone doesn't count as an electric Pokemon in this game. It counts as a steel Pokemon. Steel. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll just do Magna. Nope, that don't count. And then no dual, I was like, so no okay, well. They just... Yeah, no dual types in this game. Okay. And then I was like, oh, I guess I'll just evolve an Eevee to a Jolteon. So I'm like looking through all my Jolteon. And then after I did that, I'm like looking through all my other Pokemon. It does have very much the Pokemon Go inventory management. Yeah. And uh... <laughs> Running into some of the same issues where when my Pokemon box gets full. There's so much work I want to put into to making sure I have the absolutely best Pokemon mm -hmm. and I'm not getting yeah. rid of the Pokemon I, don't, I want to keep. Well, it seems like there's a lot more. Well, first off, what are we talking? What's full? How many, how many Pokemon are we talking here? I think they like... let you do 80 without yeah, paying I've for anything. Yeah, I've mine so much. Okay, because I got 6,000 in Pokemon Go. So it's like, I'm just wondering <laughs> what, full, what full is here in sleep. Um, well, I've upgraded mine a bunch with free gems. I think I still haven't paid for any gems at all. And I haven't been playing 100% consistently, but I do catch a lot of Pokemon, and I have a box that is 200 max right now. Oh, wow. Okay. I okay. only have 100. And I'm, I'm very, like... I'm very like you're getting tossed. Like I don't need a living yeah. dex. I don't need like a sh like I don't I don't need like Premium one of Steve each. only has a hundred and Hannah's got two. Well, like in Pokemon here. Go, you can at least like trade them or like move them to home sure. or like yeah. I just haven't done the sorting. There are so many that I haven't even looked at since I caught them. Yeah, I try well, I, that. That is part of my routine. I try to do the management right away. Like so, when you catch a Pokemon, you can like mm -hmm. just like in Pokemon Go, you can inspect it right away. Mm -hmm. And if it if it's bad, I I toss it immediately, so I don't. But you have can't this you can't up. toss it immediately. You have to right, go right. through you have to like... the all the settings screens that take <laughs> longer than I want them to. So you have to dig through the settings just to transfer the Pokemon, and that that doesn't feel worth it first thing in the morning. <laughs> I I wish that you could transfer right on catch. That yes, would be great. Me too. That it sounds like there's a lot more. Like if you if you let it go for a while, and now you have seven EVs, and now you have whatever. It sounds like there's a lot more to go through to look and see if it's a good one versus like Pokemon Go, where it's really just based on IVs. And now if it's like, you know, bigger, or tiny or whatever. But it sounds like with what you're all saying with the natures, the sub, the sub skill, all that stuff, it sounds like there's a lot more to check if you're having to go through 10 or 12 of these to yeah. see which one to transfer. Yeah. Some would say there are calculators that help you figure <laughs> out which of your Pokemon are good. <laughs> They're definitely got, if I put that to Denny, the calculator is going to come back as like a C, I'm sure. Have you even checked yet? No, I should. I should. Uh, that to Denny is bad. I don't like I don't like the experience up. Well, I think a lot of people agree that experience up is like the worst one, because once you get to 100, that like benefit no longer benefits you. Whereas yeah. if it was experience down, it's harder to get to 100. But there's no downside when you get to 100. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of just like the skill level up as the sub skill. Yeah. Which like some people like skill level up, but like I don't mind skipping it because I'm a premium. So I, I can manually do it with gold. <laughs> it's it's very weird. It's like <laughs> I'm a premium. <laughs> but like if you're not a premium, you have no way of buying gold skill seeds. So, well, you could purchase them with like real money but like i get technically one i don't free. think you even can well to you be use, a premium you are using real money though right in the first place right right right. no like okay. premium like the gold skill seeds are sometimes in the bundles oh uh yes okay like a like a 1500 gem bundle which is like 25 dollars uh, okay so ryko research <laughs> will uh the event will start at 4 a.m on monday the 25th and it will go until 4 a.m Monday, the April 8th, on green grass. Legendary Pokemon Raikou will appear for the first time. It's a two-week opportunity uh, to concentrate on research. During this event, you will, co you will collect samples of Raikou main. The main of a Raikou. And you will exchange that via the event exchange for items such as a Raikou incense or Raikou biscuits. You can use the Raikou incense to research Raikou of various sleep styles. Even without the Raiko incense, Raiko may still appear during sleep research, but extremely rare. For researchers who would like to befriend Raiko, that means catch, 
We recommend using Ryko biscuits. They're they're specialized for use with only Ryko. Also, electric type helper Pokemon will be helpful. Electric type helper Pokemon including Pikachu, Raichu, Jolteon, Ryko, Pichu, Flaffy, Mareep, Ampharos, and Dedenne. Um, in addition, you'll be able to encounter different Pokemon with different sleep styles, regardless of your own. Electric type Pokemon will have a greater appearance. During this event, you will get two sets of limited missions, week one mission and week two. Uh, week one will start when you're listening. Sorry, week one will start on the 25th, and then week two will start on April 1st. Those missions will let you earn Ryko mains. There will also be an exchange period. In the shop, you can exchange for the following items. Ryko incense, Ryko biscuit, main skill seed, thunderstorm, thunderstone. That's that's going to be a purchased one, I believe. Um, what is a Ryko incense? A Ryko incense uh, makes Ryko appear. Uh, you put it on the slump. Okay, there's nothing new here that we don't know. What is a Ryko biscuit? Uh, these can be used during sleep research with the event period and only with Ryko. One Ryko biscuit will increase Ryko's friendship by six points. Um, so I'm assuming if Ryko is hungry, which not guaranteed to be hungry, that would be 18. But, but we, don't what know. It, we, don't, we don't know its final yeah. tally. So if it's not final for tally a special is, Pokemon, it's if it's final tally is like 20, there's no way it's not like more than 20, right? It has to be, I think. Because the Dene is, we just talked about the Dene being 16. Yeah. That gets you to 12, and there's no way to go from 12 to 16. Is the Dene 18? I can't remember. There's just no way to do it without it, the chance of it being full. Um, it's a lot. There's a lot to this game, a lot more than this game than I thought it was just, you go to sleep, you wake up, Pikachu <laughs> sings you a lullaby, and you, you know, catch a Pokemon. Like, there's a whole bunch, and now it's sort of, sort of, a little bit making me want to maybe There's like no, try. There's nothing in Pokemon Go that is this extreme. No, I, there really isn't. Not, not to the, what you've just been talking about is not, like... <laughs> I mean, maybe like when Hannah's Megas trying. first got introduced. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hannah's trying, when Megas but... were first getting introduced, and even almost still with the Megas, because if you're if you need to walk for Mega Energy, but that only happens after you've Mega evolved it once. I'm trying to, yeah, I am trying to come up with something because <laughs> they have been adding complicated stuff to Go. I, I mean, I will say that in Go, the when you get to the uh, the researches that lead to shiny mythicals are time consuming and take you know get 10 best buddies then catch 10 kecleon then uh, yeah. you can tell i'm on the jirachi one still uh then you know catch 385 <laughs> of all these and excellent throws 385 excellent throws uh um still two best buddies away from that 10 and i play go daily <laughs> i just don't do the buddy thing very often um but yeah no nothing seems as, as complicated honestly as this Ryko sleep research thing yeah, I think this is also throwing people up, and I had to read this like two times. So they they put out a four part infographic to catch Raiko, and the first one, which was posted on March twelfth, they didn't post them at the said, same time. No, they posted them daily, <laughs> which I think led to more questions. <laughs> <laughs> this is the roadmap to Raiko research. Step one: get ready. It is recommended to use electric type Pokemon. Um, electric type Pokemon will get you more ingredients. The main skill trigger will be multiplied by 1.5 and Greppa berries, which is the berry that electric Pokemon gather will be set as Snorlax's favorites. And it says each bonus can be triggered on green grass. Be careful when changing islands. I think a lot of people think they have to go to green grass this week, but again, this doesn't start until the 25th. So, but there's, sh there's but nothing this week. One is to get ready for the 25th, essentially. Which, so that's what step which, one is to do stuff this week to get ready. No, that for... was technically the week we're just ending on. Sure. This okay. Last, Sorry. This last yeah. week was electric week. Right. But this week is not that. That's what's really confusing is that the last week was electric week. But then this week is just a regular week. And then it's Ryko next week. 
Yes. Am I Why correct on that, that, Hannah? There's Why nothing this do... week happening. Yeah. Yeah. No, this week starts on the 18th, but nothing with Raikou starts until the 25th. Okay. So then next question, is there more to gather this week that will help with Raikou next week? I would assume this week is the like level up your electric Pokemon that you caught because Okay. I, I I think I don't think it's bad. Like I think they're like, well, if you just caught a Mareep and a Peach, Pikachu, and now all of a to... sudden on Monday you got to go in. Yeah. Like I think they're giving us a week to like get them. Yeah, ready. but we've had the candy boost right. bonus this past week, so that Pichu I caught is already a, one of my strongest Pokemon now. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, so that was oh, the first. And okay. Golden yeah. Go in Pokemon Go. Getting a Golden Go in Pokemon Go. <laughs> Is oh, this complicated? Okay. okay, yeah, that's true. Uh, what I don't have in Pokemon Go is Gimme Ghoul or Golden Go. <laughs> so yep. there you go. I got, I got it. <laughs> got it. You you don't, but you have Scarlet and Violet. You could get it pretty easy. Oh, I totally could. Yeah, but you I have just... to know all of the steps. Yeah, and you and have I, to do it, all of the steps yeah. repeatedly. Steve, I still haven't downloaded the Palm Op that you gave a code that you showed the code for <laughs> that I think I po I reposted on my own Instagram story, and I still don't have downloaded that yet. <laughs> so uh, uh, <laughs> there was somebody at uh, LA that were like, "Oh, do you want a Gimme Ghoul?" Like that was what they were offering me, and I was like, Wait, "This is rare." <laughs> like, I have a million of <laughs> to these. To some people, it is. To some people, yeah. Well, if you don't have um, Scarlet and Violet, right? Then it, right, right, right. That right. was like Meltan initially when it was only with Let's Go and not with Home before Home came out, right? Meltan was like, "Yep." You know, if you didn't have it, you know, it was you know, pay to I get remember Meltan. offering my 3ds to, as momentary use to the other players on my college yeah. campus. Bring yep, <laughs> bring mine to work to get to people who didn't have it. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So same kind of thing. Okay, so step two. Collect Raikou mains. The number of samples you obtain depending on the variety of sleep styles you find. The rarer the sleep styles, the more you get. So you're getting Raikou main from electric type Pokemon that are sleeping when you wake up. So I think I saw this in the Slack. I think this was Yarny. They said that they were saving their electric incense for this upcoming week because it forces an electric spawn. That's Which smart. was actually really clever. Yep. Because I used both my Dedenne incenses as soon as I got them. I was like, I, but my thought process was I want to get the Dedenne ready going into Electric Week. And then you got the Dedenne that you got. Yeah, then yours is unusable. Yeah. <laughs> and I got a garbage <laughs> Dedenne. Uh, Alternative ways to collect Ryko mains. Complete limited time research. Ryko research last chance bundles. So you can, you'll be able to buy Ryko main. This is great for you, Bobby. You can just buy the thing you need. And it's not that cheap either. <laughs> in rare cases, you can obtain a sample of Raikou main from other researchers on your community who are participating in the event. This is like a big Ooh. thing in Pokemon Sleep that like, I. it's also a big thing in Pokemon Go where people are like, oh, it's so hard to level up in Pokemon Go. And it's like, just add people and open gifts. And that free friendship is really like so much experience but in pokemon sleep you want your friends list to be 50 because you're just getting every morning you're getting one to two pieces of candy from every single friend so if bobby if you researched a bulbasaur and i researched a mareep you would get a free mareep candy and i would get a free bulbasaur candy every morning oh as just because as i'm you your go friend into that menu. yes as yeah, long you have as to you like go into the, the menu and go like, into that re menu. <laughs> redeem both, your candy. both sides do, or like just me. Both so sides. if Steve's my friend, I can just go into the menu and I get a free. I'm gonna get a free Mareep candy. All you do is you open your friends list and it'll say like 37 friends have finished sleeping, and then you mm -hmm. get your 37 candy from like whatever. <sighs> All right, I might try this out again. I already <laughs> got the Go Plus Plus and everything. Yay. I might as well just. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was part two. Don't worry, we're 30 minutes into the show and we're still working through how Raikou works. <laughs> All right, part three. This is the, the Raikou main part, right? Okay. Uh, get Raikou biscuits. Raikou biscuits are an important item that increases friendships. You can trade Raikou main in the event exchange for new items. One Raikou biscuit increases Raikou's friendship by six. You can also increase Raikou's friendships with Pokey Biscuits and others. That makes it assume that like the Master Ball just works or the Master Ball Biscuit works, right? 
I don't know why it wouldn't work. That's what it sounds like. After I used the mine event on exchange, Dene, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would have too if I had one. Uh, after the event exchange closes, any Ryko biscuits you have will automatically be turned into great biscuits, which actually is not bad. Great biscuits are not easy to come by, technically. Even in the premium store, I think I can only buy five great biscuits a month. Yeah, Wait, I can't when... get great biscuits as a free player. When do they turn into great biscuits? Because if you don't... after the whole event is over, so. Oh, after but like you, April eighth. But they said Ryko can still appear after the event is over. But right, they're like, but no, the, no, the, no the, Ryko biscuits for you after the event. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is an event limited, very complicated mechanic. Got right. It. Okay. Uh, Great. So I got to start so playing you're... this week. Wonderful. No, no, you got prep. You prep this week, well, Bobby. No, to prep. I know because yeah, Ryko's yeah. not till next week. Let's clarify that. Not till next right, week. right. But <laughs> you don't have to go to Greengrass this week. It's what I'm saying. <laughs> you are safe to move somewhere. Um, part four: mains can also be exchanged for an incense, but you can only hold one in your bag at a time. Uh, and then you'll know, obviously, if you use an incense the night before, that you will for sure get Ryko the next day. So maybe don't do that if you have no Ryko biscuits, no Master Ball. Maybe, <laughs> maybe be very cautious on your incense. Uh, oh, and I that's, forgot to that's... ask a sorry, really important question: a Master Ball biscuit, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Okay, is that does that guarantee a catch? Or does that yes. guarantee a be a be to, to befriend you? Like it has so yeah. far. Okay. So, yeah, so far. Well, <laughs> okay. The, so we there, don't know with Raikou yet. Not for okay. sure. There, when when sometimes when you like give a Pokeball to a uh, Pokemon, even if it was like a Dedene, which has eighteen ticks or whatever, mm -hmm. sometimes it'll like critical hit, and then a huge heart will appear over its head, and then okay. it fills the whole bar. Okay. Which is awesome. Um, and nine times out of 10, when most people get a critical hit, it's like when the, like, you have one tick when left, you have almost none left. Yeah. And then okay. you like go to like, give it the biscuit and like critical hits. And you're like, I don't need, I, I, I didn't need this at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the master ball critical hits, apparently sh it should fill the whole thing, right? Like there, it shouldn't. I, I don't see why yeah. it would be very weird if the master ball did not catch Raikou in one. The other just, thing too, yeah. is like um, if it's shiny, it's a guaranteed critical hit. So even if you got like a shiny, if, it, if everything works the same, if you got a shiny Raikou, which we don't even know if is possible and you were to give it one pokeball, it should auto catch because like no matter how many ticks it has, a shiny is always auto catch on one pokeball. You don't have to use a master ball on a shiny which okay. is guaranteed okay which is like super nice right yeah. so do all right sorry i'm like um I, let's go back to basics for a second so like you're either gonna befriend a pokemon that's like the equivalent of catching one or mm -hmm. it's not going to do that right and so do is it possible for shiny pokemon to like essentially run away like quote unquote like or mm, is it if gonna, only if you, if you don't, don't to try to catch them Oh, sure. But I mean, if you do, if you give it a biscuit, then it's going to befriend you, is what yes. you're saying. 100%. Yeah, no matter what okay. biscuit you give it. Okay. So, Got I it. mean, like, I think the very first week, a lot of people, because the game kind of forces you to buy a Master Ball when you first, like, go through the tutorial. Mm. Um, I don't know if there's a way to, like, not buy seems, it, but seems... I think most people bought the Master Ball because it, like, kind of tells you to. But I, I do remember the first like two weeks of the game, people would see a shiny and then they would give it the master ball because they were worried about it running away. And right. Of course. We f we found out that like we one brave soul was like, I'll pokeball this shiny <laughs> for science. <laughs> and then uh, it was like, oh, well, did you get lucky and just get a critical hit? And then we figured out that no, Chinese are just guaranteed then catches. A second brave soul also had to pokeball this kid there. <laughs> Shiny. so yeah it's just like in pokemon go where if you don't catch then the other people get an increased catch do you remember that rumor yes in pokemon go everyone was like yeah, no was, one catch the no one too. catch until we all click and make sure that we get the shiny first yeah that was uh, that was good times no it's not like that we we know for <laughs> sure that shinies are 100 percent catch 
But we again, we don't know if Raikou could be shiny. There has never been a shiny lock in this game, so assuming it can be shiny. But this when is they also say the like first legendary, right? First legendary, mm-hmm. they Just, did, but sorry. they also said like the first legendary will be the same for everyone with nature and sub skills. Right. So uh, are they also saying not it will shiny? Be not like shiny, shiny for uh, everyone too. Yes. Nature lock, shiny lock, maybe. I could see that being the case. Well, then I'm then I'm deleting this app that I just downloaded. Never mind. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Um, so I th- I think I think that is everything for Raikou. You have to be on green grass. You got to be using electric Pokemon. There, you don't have to be on green grass this week. Although you probably already picked your map if you're listening to the Sun Monday. And electric week is over. And you got me so. to download the game, so it is now <laughs> on my phone right currently. So, it's a fun great. game when you have good enough Pokemon. Yeah, um, that Pichu we'll really brought me back. <laughs> That's Pichu. And there does. was a, there was a free bundle. <laughs> there was a growth focus and five Pokey Biscuit bundle to celebrate World Sleep Day. And then this upcoming week is Good Sleep Week or Good Sleep Day, which I think is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think technically it's Saturday into Sunday is the good night. And then Friday into Saturday is the half bonus. And then Saturday, Sunday into Monday is the half bonus. I think. And then Dedenne is permanently in the game now. Um, and yes, I did. Very, yes, Electric Type Week is over. So nothing happening this week. Perfect. But for Ryko, you have to be on green grass technically for two weeks. And we were just on green grass. A lot of people were just on green grass for electric week. So please use this opportunity to maybe take a break from green grass. I'm going to go back to lapis because I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of surprised you weren't on lapis for electric week. Uh, I almost did. Um, and I, I, it took me, it's, it still takes me really long to get to ultra ball. Mm-hmm. and That's i was fair. like ah. and i thought i'd be able to see like i'm master ball 14 now mm-hmm. on green grass and i thought i would be able to see more dedenes because of how like there's like a science to how like snorlax's like drowsy power breaks into like specific pokemon yeah and so like the higher number is better when you want a pokemon like dedene or Absol, which use a lot of snorlax's power I think that's it for Pokemon Sleep. We did it. <laughs> 35 minutes later. You are now prepared for Raiko Week. All right. Uh, let's take a break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about Pokemon Go and TCG. And we've accomplished Bobby downloading the app again. So, yeah, that's good. Successful segment. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> And we are back from our break. Uh, Let's do some TCG stuff before we get to the Pokemon Go stuff. Okay, so uh, Temporal Forces arrives Mm -hmm. on March 22nd, which is the next TCG set. Over 160 cards. Uh, They already had like pre-releases and stuff for that. Um, Pokemon Company, just disclosure, Pokemon Company sent me a box of cards. I, have, I haven't even opened the box to the box of cards yet. I'll probably do that on Twitch later this week. Um, I have... I, I, I feel like I'm not into cards as much as I was during Sword and Shield. And mm-hmm. it's not because like they changed the borders or they changed the rare rates. Uh, I think it was just like burnout of like actively trying to collect all the sword and shield cards and being like this is impossible yeah um it's like actually (laughs) impossible to collect everything without like dropping even more money on top of that uh but bobby tell us tell us about temporal is are people excited about this set there's no charizard in the set right there's no charizard in this set uh (laughs) what is in this set are uh all of the paradox pokemon that were released uh with the dlc so the uh legendary beasts like the paradox version of those um so walking wake um 
and gorging fire. Uh, yeah, gorging yeah. fire, fire and uh, um, uh, raging bolts, as yeah. well as iron crown, iron leaves, and iron boulder. So those are the um, that they're in the set. All six of them are in the set. They have full arts. They have special illustration rares. So people are kind of excited about those. Um, a lot of there's some other paradox Pokemon that hadn't shown up yet. Um, they are in the set, like Iron Thorns, um, is in there as well. So people are excited about that. There's also the return of Ace Spec cards, which mm. have not been seen in the TCG since the Black and White era. So I remember Ace Spec. Yeah, they are uh, very, very powerful um, uh, cards, and you can only use one per deck. So there are, f I believe, there are four of them in this set. Um, you can only have one in your deck, not one of each, but like one a spec card at all can be in your yeah. deck when playing. Um, similar to like Radiant with Radiant Pokemon back in Sword and Shield, you could only have one of those in your deck. Um, so with a spec, one of those. Uh, and other than that, I think there's a lot of playable cards um, in this deck. So people um, on both on the collection side and on the uh, player side are pretty excited about this set um but it is a yeah i think there are 218 cards i want to say total um uh, with yes, all the secret that's, rares that's uh, what bulbapedia is saying yeah so it's a uh, you know it's it's not nearly as big a set as uh the last few i i want to i i think i heard <laughs> it's like maybe one of the smallest sets since battle styles which 216 is, which, is a small set oh well, gosh <laughs> look at the like i mean paldea evolved was like 280 or something like even obsidian flames which is considered a smaller set was like 230 uh, paldean fates were 245 paldean fate well uh, paldean fates yeah because all those shinies so that was paradox riff was 266 yeah 151 See, was 207 Oh, well, that was a whole, yeah. So this is the first yeah, like, that was, I know, set. Yeah, that was that, like a special set. The first regular set that has that's small. That's you know smaller, smaller in two hundred and eighteen cards. But <laughs> uh, I have the same feeling as Steve with the collection of when the Sword and Shield era was out. I was just trying to collect everything. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna try to collect every set and everything like that. And it quickly was like, no, you have to spend a ridiculous a amount of money, of money to collect an entire set. And so. I restructured my entire collection ways with Scarlet Violet era to like just specific subsets within the sets of what I want to collect so that it's not so daunting or I don't feel like it's like, well, I have to, you know, buy four or five booster boxes so I can collect this entire set. So um, I think that's kept me in it a little bit more. Whereas like, I'm not, I don't feel like I have to try to collect everything. Uh, now that's where I but, feel like pocket comes in. Yes, right. exactly. Right. Absolutely. That, that yeah, that'll be that'll be interesting when that when that comes through. But um but yeah, so Temporal Forces uh yeah, this Friday and uh, people seem excited about it. I mean, it's uh we haven't had a regular set since Paradox Rift and that was November. So, um and you know, I one thing to remember because this always happens every time, uh Paldean Fates spoiled people because you would get so many hits in Paldean Fates like because of the baby shinies and all of that and so like you'd open up like a booster bundle which was six packs and you'd get like four or five hits and people will go back to a regular set like temporal forces they'll get a booster bundle of six packs and they'll get like two hits and they'll be like you know they're gonna be like what this is ridiculous like how they in fates were yeah it those special <laughs> sets they spoil you on the hits uh so just remember that going back to a regular set it's going to be more like paradox rift or obsidian flames than paldean fates when it comes to yeah. the hit rate and then the pokemon company was like hey before this new set comes out there's another new set yeah. coming yeah which i do think like <laughs> it's kind of weird marketing they do this all the time this is like not new but mm -hmm. it's it is really weird when it comes to the tcg stuff to like market your new set in four months two weeks before your or a week before your current set is about to drop mm -hmm. um but the this is called twilight masquerade i think i said that right mm -hmm. um which is uh launching on may 24th uh this year H over 160 cards that's they don't ever count secret rares in that so it'll probably be what probably be closer to 200 
because there's like 40 secret rares at this point <laughs> they release these things <laughs> yeah there's a lot in this one actually in this set. um and this will have uh this will have the debut of ogre pond she's a queen uh we'll see four different ogre pond exs which is teal mask ogre pond wellspring mask hearth flame mask and then cornerstone mask and then there will also be an ogre's mask item which will ha- which will be able to be playable on all four of those that I just talked about. So, yeah, I'm looking at the list right now. It looks like yeah, 167 cards before secret rares, but it's looking like another 50 secret rares. 50. And- how how can a card be a secret rare? How can one th- one fourth of your set be <laughs> secret rares? <laughs> I know, right? Well, I I appreciate that in the Scarlet Violet era, they did do the thing now where everything that is not just the regular cards or like an ex um is past the set number so if you look at the bottom left corner of a card it'll say like out of 167 but then all the illustration rares all the special illustration rares that number will be higher than 167 so like yeah whereas before it was only like the gold cards that would be above that number they were the only secret rares so you would have like two secret rares five secret rares in a set and now they're like oh all the other cards are are secret rares so it, now it's like 50 secret rares per set and so uh back which, in my day we again, only again. had two secret <laughs> yeah. rares it was a gold rush ram well, and a gold back, zekrom <laughs> back in the xy day right you literally had like one extra card it was just like oh and this is the secret rare of the set <laughs> Right. This you is know? the one gold card we we're putting <laughs> yeah. out this this three months. Um, but I think part of it is well, one thing that's interesting is that this set comes out literally like two months from Temporal Forces, which is short. It's a short amount of time between regular sets to have. It's usually three months between regular sets. So that for them to do almost exactly two months is short. Um, it also, because of the way that the international sets are put together. It is a mixture of multiple Japanese sets. So Twilight Masquerade is going to be uh, a combination of two Japanese sets. Um, one is Change of Masks, I believe, which I'm assuming is the Ogre Pond stuff, or yeah. Mask of Change, and then Crimson Haze. So those come out in... Um, Crimson Haze, I think, came out today or comes out next week or yesterday for um, Japan. Uh, and Mask of Change comes out in April. So they, I guess they just wanted to put those two together. It, they usually do three. Like they'll usually do three Japanese sets mm-hmm. or two sets and like um, some EX deck stuff with a special EX cards. Um, but in this case, they're just doing two, uh, two Japanese sets for this one. So I don't know. I don't know why they shortened the, if it's going to be, if they want to do some kind of summer release for something special or, but I don't know why they shortened the uh, time between the two regular sets yeah i don't i don't know i am very privileged and blessed that the pokemon company sent me like a booster box and stuff and that's like not 140 dollars that i have to go out and spend on cards <laughs> but there was there was a point where in sword in sword and shield i was getting they would send me cards every now and then and then i was i was for sure buying a booster box myself and then i was for sure buying an elite trainer box and then sometimes when i walked into target i was like ah oh, they got this weird box collection like for 20 bucks i'll get that right like i want the promo cards and then during the sword and shield era i was also getting japanese cards because i was like oh this is fun to collect too like i just i really just burnt myself out because like i didn't complete any sets like mm-hmm. I, the closest sets i ended up completing was like japanese stuff like I did feel pretty good with the Japanese stuff because Japanese sets are like 80 to 90 cards, but they come out every month. That's why like when Bobby said like this is usually three sets, it's like three months of stuff they merge together. Japanese stuff. But with two boxes of Japanese stuff, I could almost complete a set mm. at that point, which is like cool. Like I had a like I had a video idea of like Oh, I should bring my Japanese binders to Japan and like go to different Pokemon centers because I'm only missing like eight cards from each set. And I was mm-hmm. like, I bet I could trade for those like last eight cards. So that's way more fun than just going online and like clicking more yes. expensive to for the record to fly to Japan. <laughs> but I am going there regardless of GoFest. But 
like it's just easier to trade in japan because like there are pokemon centers and at the pokemon centers are like trading booths and like they're always popular and they're always busy and they have leak leagues everywhere like japan is very in person when it comes to pokemon Mm -hmm. um that's why like i'm super excited for pocket like i think pocket will satisfy that itch of me wanting to complete a set without Mm -hmm. being like like I have so much unopened TCG stuff that I've I purchased for the record I purchased that <laughs> I don't want to open it because I like I don't want to sort it like where am I going to put it <laughs> like I uh, for the video yeah. podcast there's like this huge book not huge but there's this bookshelf behind me and it's all opened TCG stuff unsorted like it's sorted in the fact of like I opened it from this ETB and then it went back into this ETB. <laughs> 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 but it still needs to be sorted. Mm-hmm. Like it's a yeah. full time job. It really is. I kind of get why people yeah. just like buy slabs because they're probably they're just like trophy collecting at that point. That sounds right. like negative. I don't mean that in a negative way, but they're just like I only care about these cards, mm-hmm. and like I don't care about the set, which I get. But I I do like to collect them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like I I just like going through the artwork, just like flipping through pages on the artwork of the set. Like so yeah. just even the commons, the uncommons, like not, nothing special, but you know, so I do have those set up in a certain way, um, like in some bigger binders where it's just all of those cards together. Um, but then I'm not really trying to go and collect because those ones you can collect like the common, uncommon, and rare cards, which are not like the EX, they're not the special full arts or anything, just those. You could buy a booster box. And you can get most of those cards, if not all of them. You can get most of them, just the yeah. commons, uncommons, rares. So I like to put those in kind of their own binder, like a big binder with all of those, so I can kind of flip through and just see all those artworks. Uh, when it comes to the full arts and all of that, I've come to the point where I'm like, I think I'm just going to trade or buy the ones I want and not try to open six booster boxes to get, you know, to get. 20 cards you know 20 cards that i want just because it's expensive yeah. it really is expensive yeah if you're not already committed to collecting the entire set mm-hmm. really just getting the ones you want mm-hmm. seems to be the most realistic and when pocket comes out then you won't even have to go digging through your physical collection <laughs> i know right i think i yeah. think pocket will push more physical card sales 100 percent. that's probably the goal that, yeah, I, that, mean, yeah, I was going to sure. say, I mean, that's what, honestly, that's what TCG like online did for me because it was, it was one thing to have that card on my, you know, iPad or a computer screen, but I was like, I want to hold the card. I want to have it with me. It's like, oh, got to buy the physical cards to do that. So I do feel like there's an aspect of it where it's cool if you collect it and you have it like digitally, but then there's a part of you that's like, but I want to have it in person, you know, and like I want to actually be able to hold the card and see it and like, you know, turn it yeah. and see it like you can turn it and see the and art stuff. in the light in the app. <laughs> they definitely are doing that in a much better way at Pocket. Yes, definitely much better than like live or, or online. But still, it's, it's not the same. It's not I feel like same. once Pocket is out, if I have any urge to collect Pokemon cards, I will stick to that unless there's one I literally want to display. Mm-hmm. at which point then then just buying an individual one yeah yeah i mean that's the, some way some sometimes people just collect a specific pokemon right or a specific artist right which is kind of fun yeah to like just go through and collect a specific artist and put that binder together or something so i mean so many different ways of collecting but uh, i think pocket will be a a fun a fun way to do that on your phone rather than uh have a bunch of i have a like steve said i behind me is this like little uh this, this little uh, dresser thing and it's got just full of all the bulk extra cards, just full of these like <laughs> long the white uh, boxes and just a bunch of bulk in there so um you know it you got to put it somewhere yeah <laughs> so, yeah yeah um i think i think we talked about this when i was at worlds in japan but the one of the, the weirder the weirder things was when i was walking through that pokemon center at worlds uh in yokohama they only had american cards on the shelf like etbs booster boxes all that stuff and i asked the pokemon rep uh the the dude who invited me and brought me out to japan i was like 
what we're in japan why is all of this just like english and he said that they couldn't get japanese cards because they were just sold out everywhere mm -hmm. so like i i know that like there was that dark period during covid where it was impossible to find like vivid voltage or darkness ablaze or like whatever mm -hmm. and uh, i think we can all safely say logan paul was part part of the blame on that one with with his youtube videos <laughs> but Say what you, and, and and I said like twenty minutes ago that I haven't really been into the TCG. It has nothing to do with Scarlet and Violet. I love Scarlet and Violet Pokemon. I love that they redid the border. I hate that they didn't redo the back of the card because in the Pocket <laughs> app they did redo the back of the card and it looks so good. And it's it it makes me more frustrated that like they changed the gray border but they didn't change the back of the card. And I know that like TC, like competitive people be like, ah, it would be, you have to like in a competitive tournament, you have to sleeve anyways, and yeah. it can't be clear sleeves. That's not allowed in the rules it has to be like a, whatever is opposite of opaque solid. It has to be a solid back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like bite the bullet and change the back of the cards. They did this in Japan like 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. The back is so ugly. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, but like <laughs> Scarlet and Violet TCG in Japan has been doing really, really well. Like it's mm -hmm. still like it's easier to find now than it was back with Worlds. But like, yeah, well, TCG is still doing good. I think Pocket only helps push that when that drops. Yeah. Japanese cards had the hiccup with um, there was one set. I want to say it was called like I think it was Clay Burst or something. And it had, I think it was the set that I that first set that had like an Iono. It's like special uh, illustration. Oh, in it. Yep, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. really popular. And they had to put out a statement to talk about having to print more for that set. And they apologized for like the inability to get to like um, to find that set in stores and stuff. And there, so there was that little hiccup with uh, Scarlet Pilot. But um, the other thing is that the cards in uh, Japanese, um, they seem to hold their value a little bit better with the Scarlet Violet set than the uh, international cards have, um, which I think is pushing more people to purchase singles and maybe not buy sets as much so that's another i think it's another factor and it'll be interesting to see if if that changes at all or if that's just kind of kind of be the way it is um so yeah, it should be interesting to see how it goes yeah i'm i'm very curious of just like a normal like the very first time i went to japan which was before covid <laughs> mm -hmm. It was, you just saw Pokemon cards everywhere. Like you could walk into like a 7-Eleven oh, yeah. or a Family Mart and they would just mm -hmm. be like next to the Band-Aids. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and yep. then when I went back last year, it was so hard to find Pokemon cards, even in like a Pokemon Center. Like you would walk into like Tokyo DX and they would be like, cards are behind the counter. We're only doing one box per person. Like... But also, we're sold out for the day, so come back tomorrow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So it was very, it was very jarring to go from like, oh man, like Family Mart has like Pokemon cards on the shelf to like, oh, I can't find them anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, so now that it's going to be like a full year later, I, I do, I, I still doubt that Family Mart will be stocking. I'm sure they would want to stock Pokemon cards. I'm sure they sold very well, but they, they might. I mean. Japan had a delay on the COVID stuff that happened, not COVID, but on the COVID, on the, the card uh, stuff that happened here. So we saw that right for 20 in 2020, 2021. It was really hard to find cards. It wasn't hard to get them from Japan though. At that time, the yeah, boxes yeah, yeah. were still decently priced. You could still, you could even, you could import them for decent prices, like from Japan. It wasn't hard to find J Japanese cards. And then, 2020 like late 2022 into 2023 it's like they experienced what america was experiencing for the cards in 2021 like that you couldn't all of a sudden you couldn't find any japanese cards anywhere and international english cards were a little bit easier to find so i don't know it was a weird delay but i think it's sort of like <laughs> you said i think it's sort of evened out overall now so those family marts might have cards again you never know <laughs> <laughs> that's, it might be that was, that's my pure goal getting a pack of cards from family mart <laughs> that's the way to do it you get yourself you get a, a bakari sweat and, and, yeah, uh, <laughs> and a pack of cards and it's a good time 
<laughs> Sounds like a perfect evening in Japan, really. <laughs> yeah. Getting onigiri, you've got your dinner there. Perfect. Yeah. It works out perfectly. <laughs> perfect. Actually, moving to Japan sounds more and more appealing. I don't leave my house anyways. I just need access to a 7-Eleven at 2 a.m. and then I'm yeah. set. There, yeah. That's all I need you in life. Uh, Pokemon Go. <laughs> 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 okay. Let me... I, I was at, before we get to the news, uh, I have no clue what Bobby needed from me. So th- this is perfect. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm at Mall of America. I'm doing my laps. I, I went very hard for Litten Community Day. My goal was to either get a big shiny Litten or a small shiny Litten because that's my goal for every Community Day is to get a big shiny or a small shiny. And I've, I haven't done it since they've rolled it out. And so I was like, I'm going to get there before two o'clock. I'm going to maybe grab something to eat. I'm going to have all my incense mega buddy out, everything prepped before the clock flips over. I ended up getting a tiny shiny Litten, and then I plus plus a big shiny Litten. So nice. I got both, which is awesome because Litten's one of my favorite Pokemon. But so, anyways, randomly, uh, but anyways, besides me bragging, uh, Bobby sends me this random text going, can you buy me the Litten community research? I'll explain later. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, the guy who buys everything <laughs> is asking me to pay for his Litten research? For the $1 well, ticket. <laughs> it's it's even better than that because I bought five or six other people the Litten research community day earlier in the day. Because um, that's been my thing. Like, I love 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 the alola starters and alola in general and so rowlet community day and then again a litten i just like posted up in the slack like anybody want the research like i'm down like i'll buy a few people the research just because like have fun with it have a little bit extra like something to get and like i just i love it so there were maybe like five or six people who i gifted the research to but i never bought it myself like i didn't buy it myself beforehand <laughs> i was like i'll just buy it when like community day starts or whatever and so Two o'clock rolls around. All my spawns change to Litten. Uh, it's 2.01 my time, like 2.01 or 2.02 my time. And I go into the shop. All right, so I caught a few and remembered like, oh, I haven't bought the research yet. Let me go buy that. So I, you know, I'm like, because you know, it's like catch, you got to catch like 45 Litten during the research. Yeah. Right? So uh, I go into the shop. The Litten research is there. I go click on it. There's no option to gift it anymore. There's just a buy option. I'm like, well, that's weird. Can't gift it. Okay, whatever. I click buy and it's like, you may not purchase this anymore. <laughs> Literally, the like, error message is like, you may not, pur- <laughs> like, the time limit to purchase this is over or something. And I was like, what? Excuse me? It's that's so- not how that usually goes. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I haven't reset the app since it flipped over to community day. So maybe there's just some kind of weird thing with that. So I close the app. It's now again, it's like 203, right? Just started. I open the app and it's gone. Like the Litten research is just gone. I can't buy, I can't even like click. There's nothing to click. It's just the Kyogre re, uh, raid day research. Yeah. And the the seasonal research, which I have not bought yet because that seems like a terrible, terrible. The, uh, oh, the, the $10 one? Value. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, well, you don't know what you're getting for two thirds of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's I will the value. probably <laughs> buy it later in the season because you can do it at any time or whatever. Anyways, that, that's yeah, beyond, yeah. besides the point. Um. So it was gone. So I immediately like messaged people in Slack and I was like, hey, did they change the rules to where you can't buy this like during your community day or something? And everybody else was like, no, I bought mine during community. Like anybody who bought it was like, no, I bought it like an hour into community day. And I was like, all right. So I'm thinking like maybe they accidentally turned it off because like in New York, it's five o'clock. And so just across America, they were like, it's five o'clock. Let's just turn this off. Yeah. So I, my wife got onto her account. She didn't have it either. It wasn't there. There was no lit and research or anything to buy. So I messaged, uh, I texted Steve and I'm like, Hey, can you please gift me the research? Let me see if the gift works. Can you gift me it? And maybe like, I'll, you know, maybe you'll have it. And you did. And yeah, it worked. Yeah. I, I was just in my store normally. And I was able to do the research. No problem. Um, but I did turn the app. I did check the shop about two hours into the community day. And it was back. So mm. they clearly, there was something. It wasn't there for the first like 20 minutes of the community day. It was gone. It wasn't there. 
Um, but at one point in that time frame, they put it back in there and it was uh, available again. But I was, I was just, I was super surprised. I was like, how are they not allowing people to buy it during the community day? Like, this is yeah. like the time that people would be like, oh, I should go, you know, spend right. this dollar on this research since there's all these Litten spawns everywhere. Um, but I don't know. Must have just been a, a, a shocking to, for Niantic to have a bug during one of their events. I, <laughs> yeah, that's real weird for Niantic. I can't remember the last time that happened. But, uh, but yeah, so it weird. Was, it was all good. So, so thank you, Steve, for gifting me the, uh, the Litten community day research. Yeah, you're welcome. I was I was like slightly bummed. Uh, my friend in Japan, she gifted me uh, the research for Litten, mm -hmm. which is like very nice. Like, thank you for the dollar. Passed it on to Bobby. But I was bummed because <laughs> Niantic for the first time said that if you checked into your community oh. ambassador thing, yeah. you would get the ticket. So I wanted to see how that worked. Mm -hmm. um, because there is a, an officially a community ambassador at Mall of America. There wasn't at one uh, point. Um, but there, because there was one at like Lake Nokomis in in Minneapolis, which like it's like an okay like lake and park. The problem with it though is like Outside. once you're like halfway through, you're like committed and like either <laughs> you either backtrack or you finish going around the lake. So it's mm -hmm. like not the also it was cold yesterday, so not the best place to play. So there is an official Pokestop community ambassador. Like last community day, I like checked in, but like nothing happened. I was just like I checked. Did. I'm here. I so I wanted to see how the Litten thing worked with the check-in, mm -hmm. but because I was already gifted one, I couldn't test it. Um, which like it would be cool if what I when Bobby texted me, I was like, oh, maybe if I like check in, I'll get the research, and then it will because if if Can two we? people <laughs> gift you research. Yeah. Or like if you buy research or gift it, like it turns into a ticket where you can just forward the gift to. Wait, what? I've had that before. Really? Yeah. I, so I that's neat. One of the people that I um was gonna gift the research to, they had like forgotten that I was gonna they just bought it themselves. And then when I went to gift it, it wouldn't let me gift them the research. It was like this mm. person cannot be gifted uh the research. Yeah, I think I've run into that too. Maybe if it's I wonder around. if it's just like the issue you, that you the overlap issue where like it doesn't register that you purchased it and then somebody gifts it and then you purchase it. Because I've definitely had extra community tickets in my inventory and mm -hmm. all you do is you click on the ticket and then the friends list pops up and then you mm -hmm. can just send it to somebody that's cool maybe you can maybe it's like if you buy it after you have it or something maybe if someone gifts it to you and then you buy it second you can then do something you can like then do something with it or something yeah uh, i don't know i yeah i think that's how it works because i think i was gifted one mm -hmm. and then niantic gave me a code and i redeemed uh, the code oh. and then it turned into the one it just turned into an auto gift and then i could send it to somebody else that's cool. honestly i'm surprised that that's built in there and not just a bug that breaks stuff <laughs> yeah. i'm impressed. surprised that i think just takes your money and they're like ah you just gifted this person five tickets oh well <laughs> <laughs> five dollars for us <laughs> Um, can, <laughs> we haven't been negative enough this show. Can I complain about Weather Week? Holy cow, that what a what a nightmare. I texted Bobby and I was like, "How do I get snowy cast? How do people in California get snowy cast?" Yeah, form? you you texted me, the person in Calif in Southern California, and was like, "How do I get snowy form cast form?" I, was like, I don't know. I haven't seen snow in a decade, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah. That's it's unfortunate because this is not a great way to do. This. I mean, they were they were in research, right? Yes. So yes, that is that's... the way that you do it. You have to get the research task that is catch 10 weather boosted Pokemon. Um, and if you're listening to this, when the episode comes out, you still have like it ends Monday evening, I believe. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you still have time, but you have to get that task. Catch 10 weather five, boosted 10. Pokemon. 10 yeah it's not the yeah. five not the seven well the seven's like stardust uh catch 10 it will be one of the four forms it, it'll just randomly although my last like four of them have been sunny form which has been really annoying because <laughs> um, <laughs> i've got California a bunch of those spawning <laughs> i don't i don't need those uh i'm missing rainy form uh personally and it rained it rained out of nowhere for like two hours on thursday and it did not change to rainy weather in the game, and I was so <laughs> irritated. It stayed cloudy in the game, uh, but yeah, it's you got to get those research. That's the only way to do it is get those research tasks. Um, I know I have to go out and do it. 
Oh, the, my problem with this is not like I get that cast form is based off weather. I, and and it's cool that they put them yeah. in tasks. That's fine. Like, because mm-hmm. now I can go to Mall America. I can keep spinning until I get the catch 10. Hopefully, and I can do Kyogre at the same time. So it's my goal after recording this. What bothered me is I, before I looked any of this up, I'm sitting on the couch and I pop a snowy glacier oh, lure. No. And I'm like, cool. In 30 minutes, I have to get one snowy cast form. Yeah. And the lures don't populate formed it will populate cast form but the cast form is still based off the weather which that was like the biggest complaint slash miss is like at any point niantic can change what appears in a lure Mm -hmm. and if they're going to say weather week and two of the three two of the four cast forms match the lures Mm -hmm. yeah and that's just another way for us to give niantic money yeah. Like it yeah. is free to spin Pokestops and be like, okay, catch ten Pokemon, cool. But like, I would, it, for the sake of convenience, Niantic, I wanted to just sit on the couch, give you two dollars, and be like, in thirty minutes, I I caught the snowy one. Wait, so you live within? I'm more jealous of the fact that you live within. No, no, I was. <laughs> Stop that. I was at a friend's house. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm, that's the that's the no, key the, here is that you their live apartment on a sits on two and... two Pokestops, which I'm okay. very jealous of. That's yeah. That's the that's the move is to live on the Pokestops. Bobby, I feel like, like you are five Pokestops. <sighs> You're on five <laughs> Pokestops. If I drift a little bit, that's <sighs> insane. That's I would wonderful. I would literally just like wrap a rubber band around like a Go Plus Plus. Yeah. That's and oh just my have it running and <laughs> plug it into the wall so it doesn't die and just have it running nonstop. There's and a, then just like and... every hour clear it <laughs> and then yeah, just redo it. You have it to again. do the inventory management constantly. At that point, it's just yeah. a game of inventory management. Seriously, That's it. but there's a Bobby there's an would artist. definitely move to a different location that was on a focus stop. A hundred percent. Well, there's an artist that uh, did one of the like apartment buildings around the corner they did like a really nice mural on like two of the buildings and one of them got turned into a pokestop but it's like just out of range so like every once in a while my uh, avatar will drift over and i can like spin it and then it comes back but it's like just out of range so it so it's like i'm trying to figure out like what can i set up in our front yard (laughs) to to take a picture of they don't do little free libraries anymore i think you would actually have to pay somebody for a mural somewhere yeah, just have that's in my little, experience, that's if you turn much. off your Wi-Fi on your phone and you walk over to the complete other side of your house away from the mural and then walk over towards the mural with Wi-Fi off, that should help it with should the drift help. that gets you there. Yeah, because I think paying someone to do a mural is a bit much of an investment for Pokemon Go. <laughs> cheaper than moving. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, I'm not, moving. can't do that. I think uh, we're stuck with this house for a little while. since. <laughs> but, just uh, buy, buy a statue. Put a yeah, statue in your yard. Right? Just buy a statue. Do you, think, huh. do you think that would be an adventure effect? Like how, because like mm, Palkia's adventure effect cool. of spatial rend is so incredibly good. I love it. I love and I think so that's much. why I was able that's to get That's what big. I've been saying. That's why I went for Palkia and not Dialga. I'm yep. just going to, so mistake. many no, of you were saying yeah. Dialga was better. <laughs> Hannah was right. I was better wrong. One. Palkia <laughs> is the better one. I think Palkia. that's the only reason I got it. Yeah, Palkia is actually even like GoFest or not GoFest. Uh, Sinotaur has completely changed my opinion of Palkia and Dialga origin form. Like, before, I don't like either of them, but I thought Dialga was better before. And now that I've like taken pictures and stuff of Palkia, yeah, I'm like, no. this is the clear winner. Like, Palkia this is looks a- cool. Dialga still yeah. just looks like it's a bug. Yeah, I'm sorry. Palkia's got the just like the horse, the horse effect. I don't know. <laughs> it's just. So it's a better. centaur without arms. Yeah, so much better. <laughs> um, yeah, I think like like uh, already at Mall America, I have too many things to tap. And if you keep walking, there's too many things to tap. But like when you're at, and you can have the Pokeball Plus do it, mm. obviously. But when I activate Palkia, I'm like seeing into like the parking lot which also has a ton of spawns because it's based off cell phone traffic and Mm -hmm. people are parking there. And then I'm seeing inside the mall, the amusement park, which I never go because I don't want to catch cooties from any of those kids. 
Uh, they're everywhere. They're just running around. And you know they're all sick. You know none of them wash their hands. I don't want them bumping into me. So yeah, those are the, like yeah. the, like you just walk in the circle of Mall America and you stay away from the center because that amusement park is is, is, is a, a germ trap. Mm-hmm. And then you get all the, the spawns. But then I was able to like tap on those because the Pokeball Plus is only focused on the inside track. Um, and Ooh, I think that's how oh, I was able to get a... the plus doesn't. The plus those? will always try, at least from my oh, experience, the pl- right. plus it... will always try to go around you first. Right. So then it's like safe to tap the ones that are farther away Got mm-hmm. it. and just let the plus like, <laughs> so like suck up everything in front of you, like a little Roomba. <laughs> and then you can get the ones on the outside. So I think that's how I was able to get both a big and a tiny is just because I saw so many Litten. And it's actually funny if you like see my screenshot of like the small one and the big one on like Twitter. Like you can also see, like I literally doubled my XL candy <laughs> within like an hour. I went from like three hundred to like six hundred XL because I was mm-hmm. just catching so many. Um, but then I think of like when I went to the was it was it the Hoenn tour, global tour or whatever? No, it was Go Fest. It was the one with the Pikachu crowns. I went to this park and I played there, and it was fine. It was like a gorgeous day out. It's a very nice park. Everything great there. But the whole time I'm back at that park, I'm thinking, if I just went to Mall of America, I would have more <laughs> spawns, like more things to see. You're but spoiled. now with with Palkia, I think like, oh, I think that makes the park even better. I like I think that mm. makes park situations just much better. Like it's so busted good at Mall of America, but the problem is you're you're inside, it's like kind of stuffy, there's like a lot of people. But like being at an outside on a gorgeous day in a park. And it's like, I don't really want to go back to that park for GoFest World Tour. But I do think that Palkia makes, fixes that issue mm-hmm. of just oh, yeah. adding more spawns and expanding out. So I think as long what as I'm saying is I think Palkia, Palkia fixes candy. a lot of parks. Well, yeah, if you yeah, have enough candy. <laughs> that's where someone who, as someone who doesn't do PvP yet raids a lot, the rare candy finally have a place to go, which is into Palkia, straight into Palkia. <laughs> now, so. Right. Spatial I wonder if there will be more adventure effects, and I wonder if one of them would be like increased spin radius. Yes, that would that be that fixes really your cool. problem, Bobby. Yeah, that would be really cool. And then I would need to, uh, I'd have to spend more money on raids. I don't want to think for rare candy for the Pokemon, whatever the Pokemon is. Because I think they would keep the, do you think they would keep those adventure effects to like legendary Pokemon? Like, I, I feel yeah, like we yeah, wouldn't yeah. have like a Rattata with a, an adventure <laughs> effect where you, it's like someone has no. like 10,000 candy and it'd nope. be nice. <laughs> we we'll lose adventure effect boost your pokemon sleep <laughs> yes <laughs> no i i still think that white kiram and black kiram will have adventure effects you mean the ones that were there for a minute and then we're not yes. there for a minute because <laughs> i think that's how i yeah. th- this is my tin tin foil hat theory that they got pushed early because they were they were testing Tonky and diago's they, they were just so close to all of that like, how do you accidentally push two Pokemon that wouldn't have Are it? otherwise like, completely unrelated to anything right. going on in your game at the yeah. moment? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Unless yeah. they were, the, unless they had oh. something going on. That really built like, up the Unova, <laughs> Unova incoming <laughs> situation. It really did. Yeah, like, we're not getting Black Kiram or White Kiram until, like, Unova tour, right? There's probably no way. Mm. Could be earlier. Mm. I was... I was fully set to get Arceus for GoFest, though, and then they're like, Marshadow. <laughs> There's like, not oh, even a spot for okay. Arceus in the Pokédex. I don't know why anyone thinks we're getting that anytime soon. Well, because it's only because we haven't... It's the last one in the Pokédex, isn't it? It's the last one, one in the Pokédex. It's not there, no, though. There's no right, number. But there's never a number when there's not a Pokémon past it in, the, in that specific Pokédex. So, like, when new when a new pokedex comes out like when hisui came, came out like yeah you'd only have if the okay i so see like, what let's you're say, saying like if, i see yeah, what you're if saying Paldea came out and only the starters came out there would be nothing past um oh, i don't think i've ever noticed that that's the same way it works <laughs> with like um there's other things that work that same way where it, the way it's set up is it doesn't show you a number past a pokemon that's there yeah. So because Arceus is the last one in the Sinnoh Dex, it doesn't show a number for it because there's nothing it, after it in the Sinnoh Dex to Is Manaphy and Fiona not after Arceus? They're before they're it before and they it. have oh, spots before. and they have numbers in the Sinnoh Dex because yep. they I have see. stuff after it. Yeah. Arceus not appearing didn't bother me at all. 
It didn't. No, because the to- those tours have never given us a new mythical. They've only ever given us researches to shiny mythicals in the past. So I didn't expect to get Arceus at the Sinnoh tour or Man of Fear Fiona. First time for everything, obviously. But I wasn't surprised that we didn't get that. But I just assumed, like, come on, it's time to get an Arceus. Like, let's go fest would be a good spot for it, maybe. Like, I don't know. It's got all the forms. Maybe they want to do raids instead or something and have different forms like Genesect. But we should get shiny Victini for Unova Unova Tour. Unova Tour would be the, Um, yeah, that would be the. Unless they do Meloetta. Or they yeah, do. well, now they start to have like more options for that, like mm-hmm. because they have not released multiple shiny mythicals. Whereas in Sinnoh, they didn't release Fiona, Manaphy, and Arceus, and they already had given us Dark Rise Shiny. They'd already given us, oh, that was it, Dark Rise Shiny. So that yeah. it had, you know, it was going to be Shaman. Um, but yeah, now, it, because... now, now anything, now it's anybody's guess is how they're going to go forward with. Because uh, Terrakian. Uh, Verizian and Cobalion should be the the runners in Unova because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they technically appear in the overworld for whatever they don't run <laughs> they just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of well, in black two white two, I think they stand there. I think they appear they in certain do... grass patches in black and white. Um, they didn't do enamorous. I mean, I know they did it for Valentine's Day, but they didn't do it for um something during the Sinnoh tour since they did everything else as Hui. During the uh, Sinnoh tour, kind of weird that they didn't like. It was too soon. I guess too soon, but they did it. They released Inches. This is a completely different conversation, but they released that in a bad way. I, I get it, and I got one, and it's fine. But like, come on, Wednesday, like eleven a.m., <laughs> one know, p.m. Were, on a Wednesday. They also it's... had a six p.m. one on a Wednesday. I got, they added I know. I had the six to, p.m. I had as to go a to new the, time slot. I had to go to the five p.m. and then yeah, there was the six p.m. after, and that's fine, and I get it. But like, I don't know. That's a different cover. That's a different podcast. Speaking of mythicals, uh, from Thursday, March twenty first to Monday, March twenty fifth, for the low price of seven ninety nine, you will be able to pick up the exclusive special research for Rogue of the Jungle. Uh, Tickets will be available to purchase uh, to lead to an encounter with Zarud on Thursday, March twenty first. Ticket holders will gain special access access to special research story. To receive the special research, you must open go at some point during this time. <laughs> I forgot about Victini. How could I forget when Will forgot to open his app? Therefore, yep. he never got his Victini. Well, he didn't get the Go Fest because it was like the two day Go Fest, and you had to open it mm-hmm. on like day two yeah. to yeah. start the Victini research, or else you had to wait for the public one later that right. year. Right. After you receive the special research, you can complete it at any time. Trainers will be able to encounter Zarud, the rogue monkey Pokemon. Upon completing the research, you will also get two battle passes, premium battle passes, the green ones, six silver pin apps, five rare candy. Hey, that's like one adventure effect. One incense, various dark and grass type Pokemon, and more. They're going to increase... Flabebe encounters, red flower Flabebe in Europe, Middle East, Africa, blue in Asia, yellow in America. If you're lucky, you might encounter white or orange no matter where you are. Pan sage, pan poor, pan seer, cutie fly, Flabebes, Cottony wearing a flower crown, and Zerua uh, will be appearing in the wild. Uh, yeah. They can all be shiny. This is the first Flabebe, time that... For the first time. Play baby can be shiny. Um, new Pokemon debut: Cottony wearing a flower crown. You can evolve into Whimsicott wearing a flower crown. And uh, yeah, that's so. All those Pokemon spawn. It's just if you specifically want Zarud, it's eight bucks. Is is there anything else to like the amount of Pokemon that spawn or something? If you buy, is there something else? Is there not something else to the ticket as well? It, I feel like there's something else. Maybe it's just the research. It's just that you're getting you more get encounters more with them encounters. because the you're research, uh, yeah. actually like during the tasks or whatever, getting the encounters. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there will be showcase as well and a collection challenge. Does it say what? Is it going to be Zerud? No. <laughs> Uh, Zerud was free the first time, though, right? Because it was a movie promotion. Yes, along with 
shiny Celebi. Yeah, because I think that's so, yeah. why that's why it didn't. That's why Johto Tour didn't lead to a shiny Celebi afterwards because they'd already released it prior. Versus the like movie. the rest of the tour, even though led to a shiny, shiny Celebi appears for about four seconds in that entire movie. Well, it's fine. We all got a shiny <laughs> Celebi out of it. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, is that the same way with the uh, Zara Aura in? Zara Aura was Power a little more involved. Yeah, but Lugia shows up for about four oh, seconds. Oh, that's right. That's what, that's what I meant. Lugia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like promoted it with Lugia being the whole thing. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's because they knew Lugia would put butts into seats. People were like, what is this Zara Aura thing? What are you talking People... about? Zara Aura is a gem. I love Zara I mean, Zara Aura is cool. It's amazing. But... I still don't feel like Zara Aura exists. It hasn't. I know. <laughs> it hasn't really like had much of a, have a, of a time. Although, oh no, because Marshado. Yeah. It, yeah. It's in Unite. That's about it. You've it got a like shiny me. one in home. Yeah. <laughs> you can put pants on it in Unite. Nice. <laughs> that's the that's when you know Pokemon's made it. <laughs> when it can I, wear clothes. I I feel like seven ninety nine is a lot. Mm-hmm. I I feel like seven ninety nine is a lot. And it wasn't really promoted in a way that's like you're getting it's a mythical Pokemon. And they're like, eh, for eight bucks, he gives a rude. And it's like, okay. Like, I like, just, I don't know. I just, why is it just not four ninety nine? Like, why, why seven ninety nine? Do we remember how much the Keldeo ticket was? Keldeo was seven ninety nine. Same. Yeah. yeah. And Mr. Mime? And the, the Mr. Mime <laughs> was seven ninety nine. The legendary the Mr. Mr. Rhyme for seven ninety nine. <laughs> okay, at least for the Mr. Mime. <laughs> And for the Keldeo, I think both of those came with poses, right? Mr. Mime for sure key, came with a pose. Right, because the mm-hmm. poses are typically, what, five bucks when they're on yeah. their own? Which, uh, you know, take from that what you will. But, uh, does it, so the Zerud one doesn't come with a pose? No. No. I don't think one the Keldeo incense, one though. did either. Did the Keldeo one, one not come with one? One incense. One 80 <laughs> one. incense. Shit, Niantic is so <laughs> generous. One incense. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at the Keldeo research right now. Um, no post for that? It's really making Mr. Mime look like the better deal here. No. You got a t-shirt for the Keldeo one. Oh, you got a t-shirt. That was See, it. that's got, that's okay. A t-shirt. That's a, it's a good t-shirt. And a meta shirt. Where's my, where's my Zeru t-shirt? Oh, and you got two super incubators for the Keldeo <laughs> one, too. Yeah. <laughs> Not the super incubators. <laughs> I mean, the value. And you got some TMs. You got two incense. Oh, and three regular incubators. They actually got some good stuff on the yeah, Keldeo. Yeah, I got that ticket. That's why I got that ticket. It yeah, was not was that some bad. Decent stuff on the Keldeo one. And a bunch of rare candy. You got like 15 rare candy or something. Yeah, I get uh, it. I it's mean, a free to play game. You got to you yeah. got to keep it alive with microtransactions. That's not my complaint. Like I'm okay with buying things that feel like I have something to do. I spend like ten dollars a month, probably maybe fifteen a month on Pokemon Go, which is cheaper than like a World of Warcraft subscription or a mm-hmm. Final Fantasy fourteen. I just think that this is really expensive for something that they technically gave away for free. Which is like, if you want another Zerud, that's fine. And if you weren't playing at the time, obviously you don't have it. Yeah, but it just. It, it was only around for a week. It's a strong Pokemon. I think people still I use it for yeah. I actually use it for raids quite a bit, like as my grass type um as my grass Attacker. type Pokemon. Because I have a yeah. pretty good one, so I powered it up. Um but I really like Zerud and I think that it's it's cool that it's a mythical Pokemon. And I mean, people are consistently paying for mythical Pokemon one way or the other. I mean, how many Mews have you bought? <laughs> like between yeah. you know the pokeball plus and all the you know all the other stuff like uh yeah eight bucks is steep though i i I kind of agree eight bucks is it's kind of a a weird price um especially when it's like sitting next to like the marshadow ticket which is like here's a whole two-day event for 15 bucks and this is like mm -hmm. here's one pokemon two premium basses one again like they didn't i don't feel like they marketed it not that like we all can agree they're marketing of the ultra beast was better than anything they've ever done. And so like everything else has not been, I feel like as good as ultra beast marketing, but uh, 
I, as a mythical Pokemon, I feel like they would have wanted to like, I don't know, put out a little, cl- unless I missed it, put out a clip like with Zarude or something. You and don't do, want like, their clips anymore. Their clips are just I'm... the standard Pokemon animation walking around on, <laughs> on top of I know, on top right? of a photo of the outside. It's I know. It's like they just I'm sure did the, the Pokemon 200 people that laid off one of, or whatever. one of those were the video people. <laughs> oh, multiple, I'm sure, because the, the Ultra Beast videos were really good. So and now good. they're really they not. Were, it was wonderful to watch those Ultra Beast videos. But, uh, but still, I you know I, I feel like it was still it's still weird to have like a mythical Pokemon and them to just be like and eight bucks for this mythical Pokemon. And it was just like <laughs> oh, okay, great, thanks. That's yeah, Zarude is kind of awesome, but yeah, let's sure. Um, before before we wrap up, uh, the last thing they did in Pokemon Go this week was uh, some people have gotten a new character customization thing. Uh, Bobby, you, did you get that? I haven't. No, I haven't. I I, I was one of the early though. people to get the backgrounds um, yeah. when that was a thing, but I haven't gotten the. Uh, I didn't get the character customization yet. Hannah, do you have new background? Nope, no new oh, backgrounds, you... no character customization. I don't have new background. Oh, okay, because a lot more people got them like Friday. I want to say like I know a lot of pe- a lot of other people have started getting the new backgrounds. Yeah, um, it's starting to roll out, but yeah, but no, no I'm still. As far as... Uh, no, I, I, I am by far Niantic's favorite child. They do they they <laughs> they probably listen to this podcast. They're like, why why do we give this guy free stuff every now and then? <laughs> um, no, I don't have new backgrounds. Uh, I got the revive all a week after LA, which was a bummer because that would have been very useful in LA. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't have character customization. I um, I still think the and I could be wrong on this now that more people have it. There's more uh, data, but it felt like when I had the um, new backgrounds early on, it was location based because I'd be sitting at home and I'd have the new background or I'd go to the park nearby I'd have the new background. And then I'd go over 10 minute drive over to the beach and I didn't have the new background anymore. And like my wife also has the new background when she's sitting here. So it does seem like there is some kind of location, something to it as well. And then obviously when Sinnoh tour happened, um, I think because of the way that they did the sky and everything, I think they just took the background. They just did the new, they just did away with the new oh, backgrounds yeah, altogether. Um, and then, yeah, they came back for me about a, two weeks ago. And then a bunch of people have been getting them within the last few days. So I think it's yeah. really kind of rolling out now. It seems maybe. like it's starting to roll out, but I'm also still hearing some things about some lag and some bugginess with them. So. It- didn't have that when I first before Sinnoh tour, I never experienced any lag, any bugginess with it. And then when it came back a couple of weeks ago, it is, there is a little more lag to it and stuff. And maybe it's part Weird. of like more people. I don't know what would cause it, but it definitely didn't have it before Sinnoh tour. And then now there is a little bit more lagginess mm. and bugginess to it since Sinnoh tour. Huh? So I don't know. Who knows? I look I think, forward to getting them, and I'm enjoying all of the all of the new quality of life stuff we're getting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. think there's there's a, probably an argument to be made of like, when are you going to fix all of these issues, Niantic, or like all of these like little things? Like, I don't think that there's probably not. There's always one. I'm sure <laughs> there's somebody listening to the show right now. There's, but like when you say like, oh, they added a revive all and a heal all. Like, if you haven't played Pogo in like two years. That's not going to bring you back. I'm like, oh, finally, revive all. Let me reinstall the game. Like those, the features they're doing are super nice for somebody who plays the game every day. Mm -hmm. Um, But like new features do bring back people. Like, so when you you do something like party play, maybe party play is a bad example, but it's (laughs) it's like (laughs) it's it's like big enough or routes. (laughs) um the like features bring back new people right yeah. uh like the, your quality of life stuff not so much but it does feel like this year they have been focusing on quality of life and i don't think that has anything to do with like raid pass changes or something went wrong and they have to like quickly roll these out it's probably just things they've been working on that they're finally done and they're pushing them out and i'm assuming there will still be one new big feature this summer because summer is normally when they roll out the big feature i don't know why they felt like they need to do routes and party play and what was the other I thing mean, they did last year collect uh, collection yeah, challenges collection challenges um, but we've, or, we've gotten sorry, the adventure the collection text, challenges the, showcases sorry the showcases yeah. oh okay I was like, we've had but, those for a while <laughs> but we've gotten the adventure effects this year so far so there hasn't oh, been true. nothing 
Mm, yeah, that's, that's true. true. It hasn't been nothing. That's true. Um, I wonder if this year's like Z moves, especially since what's it called is uh, Marshall, very sun and moon based. <laughs> what's oh, it called? Yeah, you know, uh, you know that summer event. You know that what's it thingy? <laughs> Go fast. Yeah, that's uh, it's really exciting that it's it. Do you think it's uh, they just because it's like kind of weird that they went and skipped to Alola for that like kind of theme, but maybe because World is in Hawaii. And it just wanted to kind of connect those two things in some way to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think. I mean, I appreciate it. Love Alola, so it's like I'm all for it. <laughs> but also, you, uh, also like Gen Five is a really big Pokedex, right? Um, yeah. Much, well, they have all next year. They have all next year, especially year. with Unova Tour. They could like push a whole year of unova stuff i feel like especially because how big that pokedex is and how it's not that was supposed really to be connected this to year. that's else. what the rumor said oh, oh okay well, <laughs> there you go how could they uh, all be wrong um <laughs> yeah no i don't i mean i also thought it was weird that they went super heavy on ultra beast at like a random time like there was no rhyme or reason that like, they spent so long promoting ultra beast they had those videos and they're like, we got to put them out. We got to get this going because these videos are so good. We got to get. Them no, out. I, I didn't. I didn't really make that connection until you said that, Bobby, though. But like they pushed Zashian and Zamazenta during Worlds London. Yeah. And so yeah. like doing a Lola Pokemon for the year that they're going to Hawaii does make a lot of sense. Like yeah. it's. Yeah. Like I don't I mean like that that would be a real weird coincidence. <laughs> like Niantic it's, it's not a it's not a coincidence. <laughs> this giant <laughs> this giant uh business <laughs> it's like <laughs> that wants to connect everything to each other in one way or another. There's definitely something to that. Although I still have no idea why, with worlds having been in the UK, they didn't give us the starters for Galar. <laughs> Yep. Where are the starters for Galar in oh, Pokemon yeah. Go? <laughs> like, come on. It's been so long. We've got everything else. We no don't Galar have starters. everything else. Well, I mean, we starter We don't have Corviknight. We have starter. Oh, starter yeah, Corviknight. We don't have Corviknight. <laughs> we'll get, well, that'll be a community. We'll have like a rookie community day at some yes, point Yes, and I'm something. looking forward to it. Yeah, that'll be a good one for sure. One day. Yeah, I think, I think there's also an argument to be made that like the character customization is like eight years too late. Yeah, like I, I don't know. Like I'm I glad think it's, it's going to bring people back. You think it's good enough to bring people I back? Think I think it's going to bring some true. people back. I think that could people. Yes, I agree with Hannah on that. I think it could bring people back. Yeah, hmm. I think that character customization that is free, mm -hmm. like this, <laughs> is going to bring people back. Depending, Depending on how good, on how it, good is. it is, that's yeah, true. It might not be amazing, but people like it when they can customize their characters more. Yeah. And having most of it so far be paid stuff isn't quite the same as being able to actually potentially make your character look like you or look more like what you want your your avatar to look like. Yeah. Oh, Still don't get no me wrong. I think heads or beards, though, is what I'm hearing. So <laughs> not everybody is going to make their character look like them. They're getting there. But <laughs> I, I think I think character customization is really important i think it, i think to play a game and to put so much time and energy and even like eight years into a game to make it feel like your character looks like you and that is you like that's one of the reasons why i don't like omega ruby alpha sapphire and i know it's like a silly reason to some people but when you had a really good character customization in x and y where you could be white black it's, it's kind of like latino They're, okay there's like like four skin colors but you know they, More than better they, you than know, they started yeah. somewhere right yeah. um but to be able to be like cut like pick your skin color pick your clothes make it feel more like you and then go into auras afterwards and be like oh, i'm just i'm just brendan in may like that kind of stuff it, it did feel like a huge step back um yeah. and i know for like people who played animal crossing uh, especially people of color to be like, oh, I can now actually be my skin color instead of what instead I can't believe. Like this sit was... out in the sun for <laughs> yeah! days. That was like the suggestion for the community. Oh, you want a darker what? skin color? Uh, just have your character stand in the sun so they would get tan. Oh, yeah. that's that was Animal Crossing. Was that was Animal this. Crossing for like what sixteen years. However, never... old Animal Crossing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Like, okay. it's crazy to think that the Switch version was the first Animal Crossing that added different skin colors. Actually crazy to think about. 
Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think like being able to look like you height, weight, whatever, I think is is great. I don't know if that's enough to bring people back. Because it's such an old game. Um, mm -hmm. But it, it, it's cool if it is like, I'd be very curious if people like if like comments or in our Slack or Discord is like, yeah, I haven't played in a while, but like character com customization would would bring me back. I feel like they um, at least check it out. Yeah. And if they haven't played in a while, they'd be like, whoa, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, kind of how I'm feeling. Other stuff in the game, too. It might not bring <laughs> a lot of people back, but I think it'll bring some people back. And it's well, yeah. clearly making people excited and happy. Yeah. More yeah, than I'm Rouse excited to get the feature. Party play. I'm a bit annoyed because I have had short hair for years, years before uh, <laughs> Pokemon Go came out. And now that I am finally intentionally growing out my hair longer at... <laughs> Now I'm going to finally be able to have short hair in game. You're like, model won't match me. I'll match my model. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'll, I'll look the same. Uh, yeah, so that's that's rolling out. Um, again, I don't know why this would take as long as it did uh, for, like, why did it take eight years for character customization? Okay, the first year they get a pass because the first year they were like actually trying to make their game stable. You could argue that they haven't since still, then, but they at least tried still, that first year. Yeah, um, still. But in yes. other games, like in Pikmin Bloom, uh, the character customization was pretty good. Uh, you could like be your me character. That was like the Nintendo integration. But at least when it came to clothes, like you could buy whatever you want. Like if you were a dude, you could just buy like the sundress and put it on right away. If you were a girl, you could buy like the men's leather jacket or like there was no. What I'm saying is like there was no restrictions in Pikmin right. Bloom. Um, so it's not that Niantic didn't know how to do that. I would assume right. those restrictions no. came from the Pokemon company or whatever. Yeah. I mean, the models probably. in Pikmin Bloom are also a little easier and the me models already existed. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think in Pokemon, it has probably had to take more effort along with the fact that they're, they're actually adding other body types, which that isn't always an option for mm -hmm. character customization and i think that probably affected how long it took making all of that work with the the clothing models and all of that i'm very excited to see how bad the clipping is with different yeah. body types because the clipping already has not been it's great it's not great yeah. and that's Maybe feedback it'll get i better I, <laughs> that's feedback i gave to niantic multiple times for the you know whenever niantic has at meetings i'm like it feels bad i still think this it feels bad to buy a shirt or a piece of clothing for two dollars and for it to look terrible on your model mm -hmm. like i want to give you money for clothing because i want to feel or look a, a certain way in a game mm -hmm. i want to flex my eight years of playing this vet game and like i spent four four dollars and fifty cents on this outfit and i can't wear it with my favorite boots or i can't wear it with a specific hat or like my mega bracelet is just clipping through the entire outfit it just yeah. yep. that's the frustrating part i think when it comes to like giving buying stuff paying real money for stuff that like if it was all free you'd be like ah oh, well whatever but like i bought this hat and my my eyelids are going through the rim of the hat like i don't know you uh, how, fix this <laughs> yeah well, quick question put... as far as like spending sorry i don't remember interrupt you're you, good uh, um quick question as far as spending money in the game do either of you actually like actively go into gyms to collect the coins that way? Or do you, are you more, I, mean, I don't know that I've ever talked about this before. This is like I, that I've ever talked about this on the show. Like, or do you just get your coins through paying money? Cause you know, um, a lot of people obviously like are still free to play and do just collect it. And I'm not saying that that's any, better than spending like it's i'm not you're saying, saying like you're that. better than us bobby with your free no, coins i don't do the gym thing <laughs> i'm saying <laughs> like i'm saying uh that there are you know when you say like well we're paying money for this outfit it's like you're not always paying money you're still doing work though you're still putting work into like getting those coins which i think yeah. is also a reason that like these things should work well and yeah. not be a, a problem i was just i'm just curious it, do either of you do gyms to collect coins or do you usually just pay money if you're gonna like in the something. years that Pokemon Go has been out, there have been stretches of time where I have put yeah. a lot of gym battling in. Yeah. That's not always the case. It kind of depends on where I'm living. Um, right. But yeah. 
one of the things I was going to say was that with the ace trainer outfit that you have to do a bunch of battles for, mm. I put so much effort into getting that outfit and the and the boots clip with every single pair of pants. That's every single bummer. one. <laughs> yeah. For the most part. I think there might be like two that they don't. But yeah, same kind of thing. Put yeah. a lot of effort into it and you want it to work. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, that's unfortunate. To answer your gym question, there are where I live. If I was to walk five minutes, there are three gyms because there's like a bunch of restaurants over there. And when I in the summer, if I do nightly walks, um, I would usually take out those gyms. My OK, my priority of gyms is I will only take them out is if they're a, like one battle away from being taken out. Sure. Right. If it's like blissy slacking mel metal garrett like if it's <laughs> stacked not yeah. interested doesn't even cross my mind like yeah. it's not worth it now yeah. the exception to that is if i'm at a restaurant mm -hmm. and i'm sitting sure. down yeah. i will do that but if i'm yeah. like just doing like a nightly walk or whatever um if they're weak i will do them if they're not i'll skip them obviously yeah. if there's a free spot I'll do it. Community day, I never take out gyms. It's just too much time. At yeah. these go fests or something, I never take out gyms. It's too much time. Yep. Plus, they flip over like so fast at those. Like, I don't know what the point is. Right. Um, but right. in the summer, I almost get fifty coins every single day because, like, I'm I actively. I was like, I need to leave. I work at home. I need to like get out for 10 yeah. 15 minutes i need to like walk or go somewhere or like run to the run to like the the mart down the street right. um but in the winter like i can't remember the last time i got 50 coins because yeah just weather. i'm not gonna like idle in my car to like take out a gym <laughs> i'm sure there yeah. are some people well, that do that's cool that's, yeah totally. that's not me i think by i think to like reason i'm asking is for me, I, if I'm taking a walk, kind of same thing, right? Like I work, I work from home, so like I gotta get out and go take a walk throughout the day. You know, I can't just sit here all day, um, even though I do sometimes. Uh, so like, you know, get out and get a walk. But because I don't like battling, right? Like I, I don't like, I like catching Pokemon. That is my like the main thing I love doing, catching and obviously taking pictures of Pokemon. But I like catching them. And if I have a 15 minute walk, I don't want to spend. I, I'd rather spend all 15 minutes of that catching Pokemon. I don't want to sit and battle a gym, you know, for a period of that time. I want to just take my time to catch Pokemon. I, I just, you know, this is a bigger conversation, but like, it's like maybe a time for them to have other ways of getting coins that aren't just battling in a gym. Cause there's just so many different ways to play the game. And it's like, it'd be nice to be able to collect coins in a different way that doesn't include just battling since there are so many different aspects to the game um that aren't just battling in gyms I, initially sure there was very little to the game of catching battling and that was it and now there's just so much more out there that it just feels like there could be another way to collect coins that you say that annoying. and then it's going to end up being showcases which neither of us do <laughs> I, know. I love showcases. showcases. <laughs> I, I've started trying more because of that Pikachu that you get at the 100 wins or whatever. But yeah, the showcases are tough in my area because it's just yep. so many. There's always oh, I'm sure. 100 trainers in the thing. And I'm always number like 18 or 19. And I transferred all my double XL Pokemon six months ago because I was like, oh, this is taking up too much room. And I'm, I'm I have yet to transfer many things. A, uh, an extra, extra large. It's ruining my economy right now. I have too many, <laughs> but I I will win these showcases. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, you know, talking about things like eight eight years to do character customization. The current gym structure we have is like what six years old and hasn't changed since. I like okay. it. Probably does need a revamp. Um, again, I don't know if like slightly tweaking or revamping the gym would bring people back compared to like something new like Z moves or or whatnot, but. I just, I think other ways of collecting coins, I think other way, cause that is something people obviously like you want to get the customizations. You don't want to pay for that and all that. And there's, you know, yeah. there are things you can buy, you know, real things you buy with those coins. And so I think I am another... sure there are people who have stopped playing yeah. because the gym mechanic to get coins was just too much work. Yeah. And it's like just any other way of like collecting. It doesn't even have to be as many coins as the gym, but just another way to collect something. So it feels like I can do that without having to go if I'm on a walk to have to stop, sit and like battle six Pokemon to put my Pokemon in to hopefully that it stays there for the amount of time to get some coins before it's gone. 
like, let me keep walking around and doing some kind of catch thing to get coins or something along those lines, but it'd be nice. It would be nice that if the free box gave like five coins or like 10 coins, Mm -hmm. because like that's the thing in Pokemon Sleep. Like I got up to 2000 gems in Pokemon Sleep, not because I bought, I did buy gems one time, but not because I bought gems was because like, like that, that is exciting to get like, what does it do? It does like five, 10 and 20, I think diamonds. I think 15 is an option too. Yeah. And so like, that's so, like, I, I think getting like a Pokeball biscuits, like, yeah, okay. Like I definitely will use this getting the, the dream shards. Like, yeah, okay. But like getting the gems is like, Oh, I, like cool. Yeah, I got gems but today. Pokemon sleep is a new game. I fully expect those free boxes to get worse over time. No, don't <laughs> the, say go that ones the go ones did. Remember the go ones? They were never coins, but remember yeah. the go ones? Yeah, sometimes yeah. Had, like, I remember the go ones where it'd be like, "Here's stuff. an incubator," and I would post yeah. it, and people were like, "You, you, you photoshopped it." Like, no, that was the box today. Yeah. <laughs> Those are yeah. They had some good boxes. It was like, what's happening? Like someone, someone uh, messed up and gave us good stuff. But even stuff. if it was like five coins, I would take that over mm-hmm. like two raspberries and a pokeball. Yeah. Yeah. There's almost no use to opening up the free gift in Pokemon Go. No, I actually no. I was going to say this live. Uh, I, I don't actually open the free gift in Pokemon <laughs> Go. I have almost never open the free gift in Pokemon Go because I'm going to end up like I look with one I spin have, of a Pokestop. Yeah, I have so many Pokestops around me. I have so many. I do have a bunch. I don't have as many gyms, but I have a bunch of Pokestops around me. And if I take a walk, I'm going to end up tra- like deleting that stuff out of my stuff anyway you know i mean obviously it's different per person but yeah i mean just give us one coin in those i don't need i don't need five coins one coin and you know that would get me to open that i mean that would you know that's something but uh yeah just something other than battling it, you know it can be something you have to work toward but it just there's got to be another way eight years in I don't know. I, I, we usually rag on Niantic, but I really do think the last couple months they have been yeah. decent in like trying to fix their game. <laughs> yeah. Well, we rag on Niantic, but we also play their game daily, right? I mean, I play <laughs> this game more than any. Like, I love Pokemon. I still love Pokemon Go. Yeah. Right. And, and they have done some really um, cool things in the last few months. And uh, it, it's nice to see some of those quality of life improvements um and adventure effects is i think it's been pretty pretty fun yeah new feature all right well we will be back next week um i will be at pax this week so um i get back on sunday morning so we'll still record it, it. so if there is news like we're not recording early we'll we'll be able to cover it but if you is are east, in boston east or west oh east if you are in boston and you're at pax please <laughs> come up say hi I don't think there's any Pokemon events. Like, there's no community day this weekend, which would have been for. Like, I love doing community days in other cities. Um, so I was a little bummed that Lytton was the week before. But, uh, yeah, I don't think there's... There's not a classic community day or anything there, coming up, right? No, Next month, a, not this month. Groudon, oh, Primal Groudon Raid Day, I want to say, oh. is it the 23rd? Oh, yeah, you're right. No, I, I do have this on. Because I subscribed so to that calendar that Hannah told me to. So it auto-adds <laughs> events to my calendar. <laughs> Yeah, so I double check like that. Is it the twenty third or? Pri- it's the twenty third. Primal okay. Groudon raid day is two to five on Saturday. Actually, I will try to I will try to make an event for that. I think that would be really cool. So if you're at Boston or if you're not even at PAX because PAX is expensive, I totally mm, I get it. It's like two hundred fifty for four days. Uh I believe most people play in the Boston Common Gardens for that, which is like their big park. Um, so yeah, I will try to plan out. Oh, I don't know, maybe weather's bad, but I I'll I'll do ra- I'll do ground on raid day easy, like for sure. I love I love group on. Uh so that's two to five on Saturday. Good one. And then I'll be yeah, I'll be on Boston Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then I leave Sunday. Um so um, if you're at PAX, say hi. Weather forecast for next Saturday in Boston is ninety percent chance of rain. <laughs> Perfect. I'm so glad every time I travel for Pokemon Go, it rains. Great. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Cloudy on Friday and partly cloudy on Sunday, but rain on Saturday. So Matt, I don't know of any indoor areas in Boston. Who knows? That may change. It's seven it's still seven. Six yeah, it's like seven days out. Yeah, yeah totally. Um, so yeah. Uh thanks for listening. Thanks for making it to the end. If uh 
if you're listening on YouTube or watching on YouTube, uh, comment whether character customization would bring you back to Pokemon Go if you stop playing. And if you already, uh, or comment whether Raiko will bring you back to Pokemon <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> Right here. Right Comment here. either of those two. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, we will see you all next week. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Bobby. This has been another episode of the Pokemon Podcast, and we are super effective. Super figuring out which different electric type Pokemon we can all have on our teams at once in Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> not Magnezone. <laughs> yep, not, not Magnezone. Magnezone. Am I going to be able to get effective. any? Am I going to uh, be able to get any this week? If you get yeah, lucky, you'll have Pikachu. Pikachu. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs>